Hello and welcome back. Now I'm actually going to probably stir up a little bit of hate here because I'm going to tell you that you have been modding Galatine Prime wrong. Now before I go into how Galatine Prime has been modded in various videos on YouTube and before I show you my build, let's go over a little bit about Galatine Prime. At the moment it's considered to be, because it factually it is the best mini weapon in the game, it hits like a friggin truck. Downside to it being, you've got to be Marshy rank 30 to get the friggin' thing. And to be honest, it is worth it. If you are of a lower level and you really want this weapon, I do recommend trying to beast through a few mastery tests, get a lot of mastery going, maybe get into a car just to boost your weapons a little bit more to get this weapon as it will serve you very well throughout your Warframe career. It wrecks. The ground slam on it, or even holding the right mouse button down while using Tempo Royale as the stance, the ground slam has a range of 6 meters which opens up enemies to ground finishers and does an insane amount of damage. It's got a pretty good bit of CC in that effect as well and it, it just wrecks. It, there's no way around it. It absolutely wrecks regardless of what build you put on it. That is one thing I actually want to make clear. I'm not going to tell you that my build is actually better despite the fact that I probably already have by saying you've been modding it wrong. But still, the main build people go for is something similar to this. Primed Reach, Pressure Point, Organ Shatter, Shocking Touch, Fever Strike for Corrosive, Blood Rush to get the crits up a lot quicker. They've also got Drifting Contact just for a little bit of extra status chance maybe, as well as Berserker to get the actual attack speed up because it is a heavy blade. It does have a little bit of a slow attack speed, it's one attack per second. Anyway, we've got 8 Corrupted Heavy Guards, level 45. Let's see how well this holds up. I say that loosely because we know for a fact this is going to wreck them. Now, what I'm actually going to show here is the fact that this has taken 12 seconds and 79 hits. Now the build I use, particularly for this, is going to take a lot less than that. It's a bit different. Paper-wise, it's actually a lot less damage. It's just the way it works. That took 7 seconds and 36 hits. So let's just test out to see how well it actually does against multiple enemies. I'm going to draw them into the center by using decoy, and we're just going to rinse through this lot very freaking easily. Now there is a bit of a catch to this build, from where on paper it is a lot lower in damage, it does require a few more hits to get it going, um, but once it gets going, from what I can actually see, it near enough stacks infinitely, the more hits you have, the more damage you essentially do overall in every sense, and the way in which this works is simply just by a good bit, a little bit of modding. It takes complete advantage of every stat on this thing. And the way it in, in essence works is, as always, status. You, you hit the enemy a few times, you give them a slash proc, hit them again, they'll get a viral proc. And regardless of the level, the armor, it chews through them in seconds. And with the modding I have on it, the more hits you have, the higher the critical chance, which does overall increase the damage, along with the fact that the higher the status chance. So from me saying that, you can pretty much gather how I've modded this. But don't, seriously, don't just take my word for it. Give it a try. It doesn't actually require that much former. I mean, I originally went with the standard way in which you would mod Galatine Prime anyway. I just got two former on it. And adding in the build I'm using, I have 11 capacity left over, but anyway, the build I'm using for this is Prime Pressure, pressure Point, Weeping Wounds, Drifting Contact, Berserker, Vicious Frost, Virulent Scourge, Blood Rush, and Prime Fury. Now, Prime Fury and Berserker, you could probably look at that and go, oh, why have you got so much attack speed? It's because it gets the stacking up a lot quicker. I also have a 52% status chance, and adding in Weeping Wounds, that damage from the viral proc, which they will inevitably get, as well as the slash proc, it goes mental and it chews through anything, and I will stress that, anything, it just wrecks them and it works quicker and more effectively than the standard build you will see. Anyway, that's me, I hope you haven't hated me too much, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.